Okay, so I came across this article on TechCrunch. Over 1,000 crypto projects are considered dead now. And uh, it's short, so I'm just going to read it real quick. Uh, more than 1,000 of crypto projects are already dead. As of June 30th, 2018, according to a recent TechCrunch report, the news outlet has based its claim on data from two websites, Coinopsy and DeadCoins. Coinopsy provides daily reviews of various cryptocurrencies, including ones that are already dead. It defines a dead token as exhibiting at least one of the following. Abandoned, scammed, website dead, no nodes, wallet issues, no social updates, low volume, or developers have walked away from the project. According to Coinopsy's list, there are 247 dead coins as of press time. These include the notorious BitConnect that was shut down in January 2018 and is described by the website as the most successful Ponzi scheme in crypto so far. DeadCoin similarly has 830 item long list of dead cryptocurrencies. Among them is the recent Titanium Blockchain Infrastructure Services initial coin offering that was shut down by the U.S. SEC for fraudulent practices. According to the SEC's press release, Titanium raised $21 million from investors uh, uh, from the U.S. and other countries. In its statement, the SEC warned investors about ICOs as an extremely risky type of investment. As Cointelegraph reported Friday, the volume of ICOs has reached $13.7 billion in 2018 so far, which is already twice as much as the market amounted to in the entire 2017. According to TechCrunch, scam and dead ICOs raised $1 billion in 2017. On June 21st, NASDAQ CEO uh, Adina Friedman warned that ICOs pose serious risk for retail investors, claiming that projects that raise money this way have almost no oversight. Earlier in June, crypto evangelist John McAfee said he will stop promoting ICs, ICOs due to alleged threats from the SEC. And that's it. So, yeah, a thousand projects are dead. That's probably right. Um, the hand wringing I have, I see over it, is kind of overdone in my opinion. Uh, let's talk about the ICO number uh, first of all. So, uh, you know, a lot of that is going to be EOS. Uh, you know, EOS raised what was it, four billion dollars in just one project. So, um, you know, Dan, you made it work. Uh, whether it remains working, I think uh, I'm hopeful. But you know, a lot of people are. Um, pointing out some problems. Um, I think long term we will survive, but you know, it's always one of those things. Um, for the rest of it, the other nine billion dollars, you know, the market is, you know, oh, if we just talk about Bitcoin, you know, it's at six thousand right now, as opposed to you know a thousand back in beginning of 2017. So, you know, even though we had our twenty thousand dollar peak and then you know coming a crash down to six at least so far, um, you know, are still much higher than we were for most of 2017. And, you know, people who got into crypto late um, or lately, um, you know, sometimes that's missed in the in the perception of things. So, yeah, I mean, things got more popular. Nine billion extra dollars outside of EOS was raised compared to one billion uh, back in 2017. Certainly possible. Um, but you know, the thing about it is, is that this is actually a good thing. Um, you know, it's, it's a new market. It's a new asset class. There's going to be trials and tribulations. Some things are going to work. Most things are going to fail. And that's just kind of how the whole creative destruction thing works. Uh, people have to try things and people have to learn, uh, the lessons of, you know, if something sounds too good to be true, like BitConnect, it probably is. Uh, just because it's a new type of money does not mean that all the old lessons of money are no longer apply. You know, uh, people trying to get 20% per month or whatever it was that was promised through BitConnect, uh, you're probably going to have a bad time. And, you know, I personally knew a couple people who were in BitConnect and, you know, knew it was probably a scam. But, you know, you know they were playing the odds and maybe they could get their money out before it collapsed. Uh, they didn't, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the effort was there. So, yeah, 830 and 247 uh, currencies or crypto projects uh, are dead. You know, that's just a sign of the market trying new things, figuring out what doesn't work so that in the end we can figure out what does work. Because, you know, in, in, in reality, nothing in science or engineering or, or anything really – is as as crisp and clean as you know you learn in school so you know lots of things get screwed up uh you know 3m's um sticky pad thing you know it was a failure of super glue Th these this is how markets evolve and how how entire 
assets evolve. So, uh, you know, I, I look at this as like, yes, people lose money, lessons learned, hopefully, and, you know, that's just a sign of the market maturing. Anyway, that's my thought on it. Let me know what you think below.